what's up guys thank you very much for watching and i'm glad you're an electric okay uh i hope you know what i'm holding these are float switch they're just like in the other normal switch that you do have but though they help us to control our pumps you would control your pump with just a normal switch if that's what you have but now that will be manual okay so if you need some bit of automation of your pump this is the perfect shot for boreholes for well pumps and for surface pumps the one just you're using to pump water from your your ground tank to your overhead tank so they will be they are just good switches uh, in control of course they have rating these this around 15 amp so that then means that uh, are you going to connect this thing I mean how are you going to connect this thing and how does it work anyway okay we've known already that it is a switch so you have this pump here okay and then you want to operate it with this so let me say you're just going to do it the same way like you do with your switch because uh, your lamp and your switch are in series okay so if it's a, a single phase uh, pump maybe capacitor run pump you will be connecting this thing in series with it okay uh, that wouldn't be a problem but there is a scenario where your tank is like 100 even 150 meter away either away from the pump or above the ground it's even more harder if it's okay so uh you know this is a cable and we definitely will have some voltage drop in there so the reason why you don't want to connect a thing in the series with your pump it's because of that uh efficiency so now what we will do we'll just use a contactor like this one we talked about many in many videos about contactors so you use this contactor and then this will operate the contactor okay so because the contactor really use a small current and the, if we use a, a slightly bigger cable than this one you know the coil will be perfectly fine uh, even to be operated by this uh, 50 meters or 100 meters even 200 meters away it's it will still work very well because that's the way it's designed to work and then you have a pump here next to to a switch i mean uh to a contactor they work perfectly well okay now the thing i want to uh we, we want to know now that i'm having two float switch in my hand and uh you will want uh to use both of them uh, in some situation i hope you've know you know how pumps uh draw air and the reason why pumps draw air it's because of you know water levels now if your pump runs without stopping and you're not you know uh, monitoring the levels then definitely it will finish the water in the tank and it will suck air okay and uh, perhaps you have got uh, maybe this pump pumps water like even 50 meters away but this is still a problem even if it was a shorter distance okay so what you need to do is to make sure that the water in this pump uh, you set it at a certain threshold such that it, the pump will never pump water below that level that can really help you okay uh, but how do you do that then you need this float switch so let me give you an example uh, let's talk about uh, a surface tank now you have this tank a and then you have this tank b now tank a it's on the ground and then you have tank b which is the hoverhead tank okay now you have one foot switch in tank a and then one foot switch in tank b uh, okay now what happens is that you're going to connect these foot switch in series such that they can you, you know work in hand with each other now the most interesting thing is that when they when you connect them in the series they're just going to be like this one first you be this and one will upright like this 
and they will be both closed. This fraud switch can be closed in this position and open in this same position. But of course, changing the connection down here. And also it can be like this, in this position, open and closed, okay? It's just a matter of changing this. All right. Now, it depends on which one you want. Now, if you're pumping water in a tank, okay, you, you'll want your foot switch to be in this position to be closed, okay? Such that then it has to uh, ask the pump to pump for you water. Then, if it is like this, it will be open. Now, it is asking your tank that it is full, okay? Now, on the, on the, on the ground tank, it will be like this. On your ground tank, it will be then like this. It will be open. Remember, we said like this in, yeah, in the overhead tank, it will be closed. And like this in the ground tank, it will be open. Okay? All right. Now, still ground tank. Now, like this in the ground tank, it will be closed. Like this, the ground tank will be closed. And in the overhead tank, like this, it will be open. Because now, since this is the ground tank and you have water there. So, every time if your ground tank is full, always it will be like this. So, it will always be on. Okay? You don't need even to worry about this. It will always be on. So, if the water in that tank goes below the threshold, then the fruit will be like this and it will uh, avoid the pump from, you know, sucking air. So there will always be a reserve at that particular level that you, you, you set. Okay? There are so many people uh, I've seen out there, they have got two tanks, you know, they already have got two tanks one on the ground and one overhead. But they really have this problem of, you know, priming every time, priming every time, priming. And the bigger the, the pump, really, it becomes more challenging in priming, okay? So, you use two float switch and you're good to go, okay? So, hope you've understood, you know, this whole thing. I hope you have. Thank you very much uh, for watching. And uh, please, you can leave a comment below if you have anything to say about uh, this. And also, don't forget to like this video. And also, don't forget to click the subscribe button. And also, the notification bell, such that we notify you every time, you know, we upload a new video. Okay? Uh, okay, thank you very much for watching. And please have yourself a blessed day. And also... Keep yourself safe. I'm out.